What's up, the world? This is Glass of Gamer coming at you with an episode of Seven Days to Die. And we're picking up right where we left off last episode. We are at the Shamway. I just bashed this zombie's head in because it was. It goes. And I'm still sort of trying to get my gear back because the world fell through. Yeah. So let me show you where I am on the map. I'm right over here. My bag is over here. And the world disappeared here in this uh, generally direction. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get my gear back. As this is the sixth day and it's quickly becoming the seventh day, which is not too good if you don't have gear. And I'm pretty far from my base, but I kind of blocked off this area temporarily just to get going. It looks like there's a couple walkers over here. So I'd like to take this opportunity to first thank all of you. Thank you all very so much. Thank you all my viewers. Thank you all my subscribers. If you like this videos, please feel free to hit that like button. If you have not done so already, please subscribe. And let's get started now. So I'm going to see if I can possibly... No. If I jump, I'll die. Maybe I can... Let's try this over here. I've got some zombies trying to get up. There's... That's not going to do it. A little whack mill here. Looks like there's only... Four, maybe? Which is still significant. What I did was I actually blocked it off right where the ladder doesn't go, so... What they're gonna have to do is... Hop over that ladder block just to get to it. I would, would use bow and arrow if I actually had arrows, but my arrows are sort of in that bag over there. So, yeah, yeah this is kind of a small issue here. Let's see if I can maybe easily drop down. Seems like quite a few zombies here. Wish I had a hay bale. That would be perfect. Hmm. I don't have any construction blocks. Actually, I've got some wood. Let's see how many I can make. Probably one. Let's make a wood frame. Yeah, I can make one. I don't know how much good this is going to do, though. Let's see. What to do? What to do? I'm sort of trapped. And I want to get over there. So this might be a really quick trip. So let's try this. I'm going to try some experimentation here. Can I jump and place a block at the same time? Holy cow, it can be done. Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? I just dropped a block as I was falling and did not take any fall damage. So that's actually a pretty good quick tip. Did not know it. It was just a quick tip. Let's see. All right, so uh, this isn't good. It's getting squirrely again. It's acting like something's there, but there's nothing there. I see something. Seems like kind of like a little wireframe here. I... That might be from where the world fell through, but at least I got my gear now. Let's uh, let's get dressed before I get too uh, too nippy. At least get a little bit of armor on. Perfect. Oops, some boots. Can't forget the boots. Alright. So, I've got some weapons back. I've got some arrows now. And there's a bazillion zombies all around me. Let's see if I can just bust into this bookstore and uh, quickly loot the place. 
Nothing. What a ripoff. Nothing. Nothing. Got my scavenging went up. That's always good. And my level went up. Nice. Some more books. Use those for paper for uh, shotgun shells later on. Still good. But I would really like to see set in concrete. I mean, that would just take the cake right there. Let's get over here. So far, this is uh, not yielding too good a result. And I really want to get back before it gets dark. Uh, because tonight's going to be uh, a fun night, as you can see. Looks like we got something there, some armor. We'll take a look at all the blueprints after I leave. I just want to kind of, you know, cash in, cash out kind of deal quick. Wow, this Born and Noble is uh, really lacky on uh, content. Empties. Not good. Let's see. Oh, some armor. It looks like leather. Uh, blueprint. Iron. That's good. Oh, set in concrete? Was that set in concrete? We shall see. Stay tuned. So, let me grab a chainsaw. I think I had that already. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and take my winnings and run. Because, as you can see, it's 1,900 hours. It's starting to become dusk. And we all know what happens at dusk. I am going to try to get out of town here. I think for tonight, since it's the seventh day, I'm going to use the rooftop. And the reason being is the uh, the rooftop outpost, I can just remove some of the ladders. And when I do that, it'll prevent the zombies from just climbing up. So I can actually just be up there with my bow and arrow and just uh, slide them down as, uh, as need be. Oh, look at that sun. It's setting. It looks like it's going to be a blood moon tonight. Should be plenty of action pack action here. Action pack action. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. But, oh well, we'll go with it. Let's see where we are in the map. As we are pretty far away from civilization. Let's uh, uncheck the bunker and... Check the uh, log cabin. We'll use that as our uh, as our primary base, just for tonight. Until we can really get the uh, the concrete going, uh, and we'll actually take a look at all of our our uh, weddings, all of our loot up top. We've got some good books here, I believe. At least I'm hoping. Oh, almost there, out of stamina. Let me see if I, uh, I should probably take a med kit here. Drink a little bit of water. A little bit of deliciousness. Perfect. Now the funny thing with this, uh, random jet, I have not found any chrysanthemum yet. Which is really bizarre for this, uh, because they're supposed to be in this biome. At least I've seen them in this biome pretty, you know, on the... Uh, official map with the Abyssgans, you have uh, right near the farm area, you have tons and tons and tons of chrysanthemum. Uh, I like to use those for tea to actually make uh, some stamina regen tea. I wish we could make beer, that would be awesome, but you know, for now, beer is just a, uh, a drop. 
They can make a little bit of harder stuff. A little bit of moonshine, but I wouldn't recommend drinking it. It gives you slightly more than a little buzz. Getting closer. I'm just trying to get back as fast as possible because we're looking at almost, almost night time here. By the second, it's getting darker. Going through this forest, almost there. We're gonna come upon the burnt forest, and then we'll have our nice attic base. Uh, two bird dust. Nice. Make some extra arrows tonight. That's one nice thing about the burnt areas is you can actually find uh, a big stone axe here. You can actually find quite a few uh, bird nests and stones just on the ground much easier because there's, there's no grass to, to cover it up. There's our bunker house. See how we have a little thing going on out here? We just, uh, just blocked off the entrance. Let me grab a little bit of wood just in case I need it for tonight, since we're so close to base now. Skills starting to go up. It's getting pretty quiet here, which means it's probably a horde getting ready to jump on top of me at any time. And chopping, and chopping, and wagging, and smacking. Oh. Bird nest. So I'll take that too. Nice. That'll work well. Let's get this tree down. Get some more wood going. Let's see how much wood do we have? Um, that's not bad. But it's good to have a little extra just in case you need it, especially for the seventh day. I mean, we want to make sure that we are completely, completely covered here. I'll probably grab some stone as well so we can make uh we've got some small stone here but we want to make sure that we have enough i think i'll get that's good enough amount of wood for now Another bird nest i just want to make a ton of arrows tonight because i have a feeling i'm definitely going to need them Brush going here, a little brush action. So here's our uh, our main, uh, not so pretty base, but it's getting there. It's just a place to keep me safe for the first night, well, for the first seven days at least. And then once we get going, you know, we'll be able to do a little more. So let's see. Normally there's rocks everywhere. Oh, Nurse Ratchet. How nice of you to join us. How about a little hot club action? Yeah. Oh, uh, trying to fake me out again. Look at that, Nurse Ratchet. Come on. You know you just want to play. Let's see what we got here. Speaker, please. No speaker. But, yeah, I'll take those bandages. That's not too bad. Oh, look. Somebody's smacking on my door. Sorry, nobody's home. Get some. Alright. Mm, nice. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and get inside because... The action's starting to get real. I think there's going to be some hordes coming any time now. But let me take these two out first. Make it a little bit easier for tonight. So that's the cool thing about having this place. It has multiple entrances and exits. 
So if I have to escape quickly, I've got myself set up so I can escape. Let's make sure there's nothing behind me. That's always helpful. Oh. Don't, hit me. Don't break my leg. I won't be happy. Don't break my leg. So the technique I like to use, let me just use these, is to oil. Is to actually just uh, sprint in and sprint back after I smack it. Sprint, hit, sprint back. And that seems to work pretty well. So let me go in here. Uh, there's someone in there. I'm not going to really... I can take the wood out here just in case they destroy this thing anyways. Good enough. Alright, so let's go up to the top here. I am going to destroy this ladder once I get to the top. Look how dark it's already getting. Things are going to start to happen. Let's, uh... I wonder where my torch went. I thought I had a torch up here. Did I have a torch up here? Uh, apparently I don't. So, maybe I'll just steal one of those candles off the walls. That'll work. Just for now. If I had room. Uh, what can we do? Where? Yeah, that works. Alright, so I'll take the candle. Now I'll make it really super dark. And let's go up here. Mmm, dog food. Yummy dog food. And now we have a little light source. So let me put that there. And I'm going to break these ladders out. Because I don't want these zombies coming up here. So what this does, this will prevent them from getting up here. What they'll do is they'll try to climb up, and they'll get so far, and then they'll just fall back down. And that's the goal for tonight, is to make life hard for zombies. Poor babies. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the loot we got here. So, we got two leather hood schematics. We're going to go ahead and read those. Because reading schematics will actually, uh, that will actually uh, help increase your skills. I, I found that to be the truth. So, there's another schematic. This is uh, leather pants. Not that I have enough leather to make the leather pants, but uh, at least we've got it. Read these two chainsaw schematics. If I could say a schematic. Iron boots, I don't think I had before, so that's nice. We'll take that, definitely. Now, let's see what we got here. Ammunition books, so it's not set in concrete. I'll read it anyways, because that gives me access to the uh, 10, 9mm, the 10mm, and 7.62 rounds. And hunting knife book. Learn how to craft a hunting knife. Okay, so that's that's handy. Hunting knives are definitely something we need. Now, let's go ahead and scrap that. And we'll get some paper. Alright. So, while that's happening, I'm going to go over here and make some arrows. Let's go over here to our box of loot. Lots of feathers here to play with. I hope I have enough stone. 107 stone. I don't know. You think 107 arrows may be enough? Let's uh, let's find out. So recipes. Arrows. I'll make 107 rounds on top of the 183 I already have. So that should actually help us quite a bit tonight. But I still think we might need some more. So maybe... I know this is crazy, but maybe I should go out and get some more stone? Hmm. 
we'll see how uh, how real it gets tonight. So let's pull the arrow out. Perfect. So far, it's pretty quiet, but I don't have any fires lit. I don't have any uh, forges going. And I'm trying to stay as uh, undetected as possible. Plus, I took out all those uh, around the base to start with. But I have no doubt that we're going to have some kind of horde coming either tonight or tomorrow night. It's just going to bring all sorts of good fun. So, what I think I'll do here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the recording. And what we'll do is, if anything happens, I'll start the recording back up. And uh, we'll show you some hot zombie action. Uh, if uh, and in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll just start breaking these peaks off because I really want to make this whole top here just a uh, you know, like a big platform and make a decent base. And of course, uh, we're definitely going to work on the uh, bunker base eventually. But right now, I don't have this set in concrete book, so that's making life a little bit tougher to do. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, and we'll be right back. And we're back. So last night was actually a pretty uneventful night. Uh, I created some torches here to make the uh, lighting a little bit more bearable because it was so dark up here. And I've just been, uh, you know, whacking on this roof here. Just uh, getting this thing set up so we can build this base out. And I think what we'll do is, in the next episode, we're going to focus on uh, gathering up all the supplies and building up this base out here. And uh, I really want to get some corn planted so I can get some food going. Because without the uh, the cornmeal, it makes it really tough to to eat. Um, plus, it doesn't create any belt, so the, the zombies won't care if they smell us or not. Which is going to be definitely a, a big plus, uh, because you can't always uh, depend on finding bacon and eggs. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this all prepped up, and in the next episode, we'll do some uh, some building. Yeah. And I hear a couple zombies down below. I don't see too much. Looks like... Yeah, maybe can, looks like one of those uh, big jaws. Ooh, look at that. Oh, did I hit you in the face? Nope. Come on, John. Let's go. Come on, John boy. Oh, you want some, don't you? Oh, you had to go under the overhang, didn't you? Really? Sounds like he's breaking my stuff. Oh, uh, really? What do we have here? Maybe. Ah, I'll work on that at another time. That'll be uh, something on the build base building portion. So, seeing how is we're gonna didn't have the whole horde come out today, it'll probably come out tonight. Uh, it's almost going on 4 a.m. And uh, I still don't see a horde. So I'm going to wrap up this episode. This is Classic Gamer. And I appreciate each and every one of you. All of your views. All of your subscriptions. All of your likes. If you like this video, feel free to smash that like button. And please subscribe. This is Classic Gamer signing off. And I'll see you next time.